Well, ladies and gentlemen, they got me. I could not get the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition, and it seems like a lot of people were in the same boat. Man, this Bandai Namco store rollout was an absolute train wreck. A lot of people are upset, and I'll talk about all that in my experience with it. It is what it is. It should have kind of been expected, and I'll go into why that is. I'm not that upset about it, but I am a little bit bummed out um, just because I know that this is going to be a wild collector's item, and um, I'm pretty sure that the eBay prices are already pretty crazy. I'm, I'm not even going to look at those prices just because I'm too scared to look at those prices, but I'll talk about my experience with that. Far Cry 6, it's a brand new low price, and I want to give you guys an update on Sifu. That's a game coming from Slow Clap, and um, yeah, pretty excited for that game, but I'll give an update on that at the end of this video. But first of all, Bandai Namco's new store, come on, man, come on, man. I made a video yesterday letting you guys know that they were scheduling pre-orders of the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition to go live alongside the Collector's Edition. There's a Collector's Edition and then a Premium Collector's Edition. Both of those were set to go live on the new Bandai Namco store at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. I saw some of you guys leave comments and it seems like everybody ran into the same issue. Come 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, you go and you try to buy the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition or the Collector's Edition, you are greeted with a verify your age. Okay, I'm old enough to play Elden Ring, I put in my date, boom, you're stuck on that screen, you can't get forward, and suddenly, oh no, disaster strikes, can I get the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition? Okay, so nobody's able to get the Premium Collector's Edition, um, although I did see some people were able to get to the checkout screen, and then they weren't able to check out on that screen, so I don't even know what was going on, and then they put out a tweet saying, Hey, we're gonna have uh, more uh, Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That's 9 p.m. Eastern, and that was a little bit late in the day, guys. I was deep into playing Ruined King at that point. I'm getting towards the end of that game, and I was so into it that, you know, I, I didn't have my phone on me. I even had Bandai Namco on notifications on Twitter, so I, I got a notification about this tweet. Didn't see it, and then boom, I got absolutely wrecked. And uh, yeah, the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition is unfortunately now sold out um pretty big a bummer about this i think uh you know in retrospect hindsight is always going to be 2020 but launching a brand new store alongside a very highly anticipated and in-demand pre-order probably wasn't the best idea in the world i don't know if it was an issue where their you know servers got absolutely bombarded with people trying to pre-order this thing but yeah it was an absolute train wreck and um unfortunately looks like we won't be getting the premium collector's edition let me know if you were lucky enough to get one because i saw comments in the video i uploaded yesterday of everybody being like yeah like this store ain't even working um you know were you on twitter all day did you see that tweet and uh were you able to pre-order it a little bit bummed out about it but uh yeah, them's the break sometimes. I guess it is what it is. I don't know if Bandai Namco is going to be doing a restock, but they tweeted out, we can confirm the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition is sold out. Please sign up for the waitlist to be notified if more units become available. Thank you for your support. Keyword there is if. Hopefully more units are available, but I think I'm going to tap out on this one. I gave it a shot. Um, I know that it's going to be a huge collector's item. Like I know that this is going to be a collector's edition that's worth absolute bread and i just wanted to have it as a collectible uh but you know them's the breaks on that one the site absolutely crapped down and hey if you got it lucky lucky you guys but uh yeah i know a lot of people were upset on twitter just being like the site absolutely crapped out at the initial uh launch time of 11 a.m pacific 2 p.m eastern again let me know in the comments below if you were lucky enough to get one because a little bit unfortunate hey at least the game will be able to play it when it comes um February 25th, and I think Best Buy is giving away a steelbook, so we can all get that steelbook still, so that's pretty cool. Nevertheless, um, yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate scenario as far as that's concerned. Maybe that's a sign for the future. Hey, launch the store first, make sure everything works, and then, you know, put the pre-orders live for a very in-demand uh, pre-order of a collector's edition, but uh, yeah. Alright, moving on from that, Far Cry 6, the PlayStation 5 Standard Edition, as well as the PlayStation 4 Standard Edition, are both down to $29.99, another case of a Ubisoft game going down in price very, very quickly. However, in the case of Far Cry 6, credit where credit is due, it has held up in price more so than some of the other Ubisoft releases, like in Immortals Phoenix Rising, um, Riders Republic, of course, went to like 
$25 three weeks after release. Even AC Valhalla went to $30 quicker than Far Cry 6 did. Far Cry 6 actually been holding up in price. Um, you know, it came out in early October, and the fact is, during Black Friday week, it only went down to $35. I know that's still a pretty significant discount, but for Ubisoft standards, it does seem like Far Cry is their one IP that does hold up in price a little bit more so than all of their other IPs. Nevertheless, I think $30 is a pretty decent price point. Is it going to get cheaper? Absolutely. Probably 20 bucks. you know, first quarter next year. I don't think that's too much of a stress to uh, stretch to make that, um, you know, assumption. Uh, given that you're seeing a lot of games get pretty cheap, especially GameStop, man, those GameStop deals they're running right now are quite good. But Far Cry 6 at 30 bucks, I think, is a pretty decent price, so check that out if you are interested. Lastly, Sifu, the game coming from Slow Clap being published by Microids, it is dropping on February 8th for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC via Epic Game Store. It is actually going to get a physical retail release that was noted to be coming in spring of 2022. So if you do want to get the physical version of the game if you're the kind of person that wants you know hard copies of all your games hey waiting to spring of 2022 isn't that big of a deal given that february is so freaking stacked late january you got pokemon legends rcs if you gotta wait you know two to three months to get a physical copy of Sifu. I actually don't think that's the worst thing in the world. And honestly, uh, February, like I said, is so freaking stacked that waiting a little while uh, might be advantageous for Sifu. Obviously, you got Horizon, you got Elden Ring as the two, you know, double whammy as the big games, and then you got other games surrounding there as well. Maybe not at the level of Horizon or Elden Ring, but still pretty major titles. And then March is also uh, sneakily stacked. Uh, King of Fighters 15, by the way, also in February. But March, you've got GT7, You've got uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. That's just off the top of my head, and there's definitely a couple other games in March. Uh, but yeah... Early portion of next year stacked. Sifu looks like a pretty good game. Again, Slow Clap are the guys that did Absolver. Absolver was a game that mechanically was really interesting. I thought it had a lot of potential. Wasn't really completely realized, but if they took, you know, some of the things they learned out of Absolver, parlay that into Sifu and, you know, evolve a little bit, I think Sifu can be a pretty cool game. Seems to have a narrative focus as well, so we'll see how this game ultimately turns out. Again, if you do want it digitally, February 8th for that. What is the price point on this game? I should be able to find that out through the Epic Game Store. I believe it's $40. So that might be a little bit steep of a price point. Yeah, it's $40. So that might be steep, but uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see the length of the game and how big uh, the game actually is from a content standpoint because $40 is a bit steep of a price point, but we're seeing that more with downloadable games, man. Um, Heart Machine's latest game, which I'm totally forgetting the name of, was also $40. And that game was Solar Ash, yes, that was also $40, so some of these downloadable games are starting to appreciate in price, where in the past you would see $25 to $30 being the cap, and I mean, going back 10 years ago, uh, $15 began to be the cap with games like Shadow Complex, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's... That's what's just generally going to happen as these games are getting bigger and bigger from a download standpoint as well. But that's going to do it for me. Again, let me know your experience. Have you tried to pick up the Elden Ring Premium Collector's Edition? Absolute train wreck on my end. You know, it is what it is. It happens. It, I'm not going to dwell over it, but a little bit of a bummer. I can get it. Far Cry 6 down to 30 bucks over on Amazon and Sifu dropping a physical edition spring of 2022 digital edition is due out february 8th of 2022 that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.